you know, it's very interesting. I pulled up this video where this guy by the name of Carl Renfell, who's deep in the crypto space, has proclaimed that he's a billionaire. And I went up and put up a video saying he's completely lying. So if you don't know who this guy is, he has two YouTube channels, one named Carl Renfield, one named To The Moon. Now, this is his story. 2018, this guy was a cash sheer. And from 2018 up to today, he became a billionaire in the cryptocurrency space. Now, could this guy have become a millionaire in the cryptocurrency space? Absolutely. I do believe he is a millionaire, but I don't believe he's a billionaire for what I'm about to give you is the following reasons. Okay. We all know who Jeff Bezos is, right? Founder of amazon.com. Jeff Bezos, who's a legitimate billionaire. He wasn't a cashier. Jeff Bezos was on wall street. And to start Amazon.com, Jeff Bezos got $250,000 from his mother and father. I got a question. How many of you could raise 200 and not like look, 100K? You go to mom and dad and get 100K cash. How many of you can do that? Well, you know what, let's break. How many of you can get 50K? How many of you could get $25,000 from mom and dad? See, Bill, um, Jeff Bezos, he wasn't a cashier. He didn't come from nothing. Elon Musk, Google it. His father owned an emerald mine. Elon Musk, didn't come from nothing. And if you go through the billionaire class and look back and see from Warren Buffett to Carl Icahn, these guys didn't start from scratch. They didn't start from the dirt. There's another crypto billionaire, a real crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman Freed, who owns the cryptocurrency exchange, um, FTX, I believe. And they have a billion dollars a year in earnings from running this business. Sam Bankman Freed became a billionaire in five years, but so did other people who were, let's go ahead and talk about it. There's buying crypto, and there's being at the junction of buying crypto. Sam Bankman Freed is at the junction. You want to buy crypto, you go to his exchange. And I was watching an interview with this guy and they were running this uh, strategy where they were buying crypto in Japan and then selling it, either buying crypto here and selling it in Japan or buying it in Japan. I think they were buying it here and selling it in Japan for a premium because you could buy crypto here cheaper than you could in Japan. And they were doing like a million dollars a day from that strategy. So, you know, when you see Sam Bankman Freed, he looks, he speaks like a nerd. So I actually believe that Sam Bankman Freed is a legitimate billionaire. But if you go ahead and look at the videos of Sam Bankman Freed, he's not flexing with a Bugatti. He doesn't live in Dubai. He lives in the Bahamas. I think that's where FTX is um, based. But what I'm trying to say is if you dive into the background of most of the people that we know and accept and believe are legitimate billionaires, none of them started from the dirt. Not a one of them started from the dirt outside of maybe Jay-Z, 50 cents, 
And we're looking at, it took these guys 20, 17 years to become a billionaire. And they were in, and this is what's funny, neither Jay-Z or it's Jay-Z, Michael Jordan, what's her name? Uh, Rihanna, who are legitimate billionaires, none of these people became billionaires from music. They came billionaires from businesses outside of music. And, you know, this is what's funny. Carl Renfield has hired some people and they they messaged me. They wanted to do, they wanted me to do an interview. I hadn't gotten around to uh, sending this, um, a link of this video that I made where I believe this guy is a blatant liar. Once again, I believe he could be a millionaire quite easily in the crypto space, quite easily. Um, but a billion, and this is one of the things, give you an idea of just one billion, not two, not three, just one billion, one billion. I could spend, let's say I had a billion dollars cash in the bank and I was spending 10 million a year. 10 years is a hundred million, right? I could spend $10 million per year for 100 years. Let me say this again. If I had a billion dollars cash in the bank, I could spend $10 million per year for 100 years. So once again, is this guy rich? Absolutely. But is he a billionaire? Absolutely not. And I actually dived into the thought process because part of the issue is we have a lot of people on their internet and this is marketing. I'm gonna call it you can get rich marketing in a very short period of time. You've got so many products, so many things advertised as, hey, take my course, 90 days you can quit your job. You've got a number of the usual suspects that I'm not gonna mention them by name because I'm getting ready to leave that alone. But there's a multitude of people. Uh, there's this girl who's in the investing space who, um, 19 year old college student dead broke. A year later, she was a multimillionaire. You see these consistent stories of people who claim with not one shred of proof, none of these people put up any proof to back up their crank, none of them. Because here's the thing, and here, here's the thing with investing. Can you become rich investing? Absolutely. It is the slowest way to become rich. Dave Ramsey did a study and they were talking about the top professions to become an asset-based millionaire. And number one was engineer, number two was teachers, number three was nurses, entrepreneur was number Five. Now, I take exception with that study because I know from personal experience that when you become a millionaire as an entrepreneur is usually much quicker, like 15, 20 years quicker than you becoming a millionaire through investing. And I guarantee you if that study, because I know how Dave Ramsey does things. It was like a study, who's become a millionaire. They didn't go who became a millionaire the quickest, which group of professions became millionaires. And there are more teachers, there are more engineers, there are more nurses than there are entrepreneurs. But I guarantee you, if they were to redo that study, it's like who became a millionaire the fastest, entrepreneur would be number one. But that's not 
how Dave Ramsey wants to sell this thing. What is Dave Ramsey? He's a financial uh, advisor to getting out of debt, going through the baby steps. His messaging is aimed at the common man. I guarantee you, if someone else did a study of who gets rich the quickest, entrepreneurs or teachers, I guarantee you, entrepreneurs will be at the top of the list. And this is how I'm able to see the BS because my first business did not make me a millionaire, nor did my second business. It took me some time because all of that, all of those years of being in business gave me experience. Like I'll share with you something that I currently have been doing since 2020. I've been doing launches and literally I have not been working the whole year. Uh, 2020, I made $3 million in about four months. And that showed me something. And then I didn't make as much in 2021 and I didn't make as much in 2022. However, right now, I took most of the month off to reconsider some stuff, to reevaluate some things. And I've been really, really thinking about this. And one of the reasons that I'm able to take, like, I will just share something with you. If I wanted to take six months off, I could. Six months, just chill, go to the beach, work out, hang out with my girl. I can do that. However, you know, taking this time off, um, it has shown me a few things about myself because after a week, my ideal was just, my, my mind was flooded with ideals. And, you know, I'm just not a person built for leisure. You know, two weeks is plenty of time off for me, you know, two weeks. But I will tell you going forward that I'm gonna start taking more of these breaks because these breaks are good. And one of the things that I'm able to see the bullshit for what it is is because I have started businesses to outside of social media, outside of YouTube. So I know there's a life out there. And one of the things, there are many, many really good entrepreneurs, strong entrepreneurs who have a lot of expertise, who have a lot of business, who can start a YouTube channel. They will not do well because it's a new skill set to getting views on YouTube. And this is something that I've been considering. Let's go ahead and take Carl Renfield. I'm a billionaire with no receipts, no proof, no accounting, no audited financials, none of that. There is a litany of people on the internet who are making dubious claims. When I was in the car rental business and I was buying cars, I actually showed you guys the car titles. Uh, I used to be very receipt driven. I own a Porsche, I own a BMW, I showed you the titles. I've showed you my pay stuff. And what I'm beginning to see, this is something that dawned upon me during my break. There's a group of people Shout out to the nerd tribe. Shout out to the people who bought my courses, who want the truth, who want the truth, who will acknowledge the truth, who will consume the truth. There are people who want these things. There's another group of people out there that absolutely hate the truth. This is why I've literally had comment after comment. You know, he, he, here, here's one of the things. If you are doing affiliate marketing, does the, you know, once you direct someone to someone's website and they make a purchase, they give you a small piece. They don't give you hundreds or thousands of dollars. And it's like, well, he was promoting these cryptos and referring, 
I was like, oh, well and good. That's still short of a billion dollars. It's still way short of a billion dollars. Once again, this guy could easily be a millionaire. I estimate him to be at 30 to 50 million, which is staggering sum of money for anyone, let alone a kid who was a cashier in 2018. But as I begin to drop the truth and share wisdoms and insights with people, this is when the hate came. And the hate came because I, Glendon Cameron, was pissing on dreams. There are so many people who literally want to believe the false narrative that if they buy the right cryptos, that it's possible to become a billionaire in five years from absolutely nothing. They want to believe it because they need to believe it. These are like the people who suffer a bad financial hardship and they start to get these delusions that God wants me to win the lottery and they start spending money that they shouldn't be spending on lottery tickets because they're desperate. And there's a number of people who need to believe in this dubious false narrative. I don't care, Jesus Christ could come down and said, my son, my daughter, Carl Renfield is not a billionaire and they can give you the cosmic reading and the heaven, and you still, no, 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 no. He a billionaire, he a billionaire because he said so. I need to believe that. I need to believe it because my future isn't looking that good and I need to have that hope that there's somehow I can do little or nothing and still become amazingly rich. And that's one of the things I saw because here's something else. I'm thinking about stopping doing the male content altogether because these guys, there's a, there's a group of guys who will take the advice and apply it and get results. But most guys are spineless cowards. They cannot even walk up to a beautiful woman and say, I find you attractive, let's go out. Simple, something that takes 20 seconds. They can't do it because they're spineless jellyfish. They're weak, scared, low testosterone having men. And this is the crowd because once I, you know, cause this, this break was really good for me because I was beginning to see the pushback because once again, if Carl Renfield actually bought enough Bitcoin in 2018, when Bitcoin was 1100 bucks, he would have needed $10 million back then to become a billionaire when crypto reached 60, when Bitcoin reached $68,000 per coin. And if that was true, which is not, he wouldn't be a billionaire today because crypto has lost, Bitcoin has lost 70% of its value. It went from 68 to 20,000. Uh, today it's like 19. So if that was true and it's not, and I'm very, very confident that this clown is not a billionaire. I'm extremely confident because here's the thing, it's social media. Just come on YouTube, be smiley, helpful. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to be your buddy. I'm just trying to be your pal. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you, right? Come up with this nonsense and people will, like once again, how to start a cargo van business with 300 bucks. The video is absolutely 100% garbage. It doesn't work. The video almost has 400,000 views because people are desperate. During this great reset, during this recession, yes, we're in the recession right now. We're in the period of high inflation. People are desperate. Your, your monthly cost due to gas, groceries, and the price increases has gone up for the average American $1,000 to $2,000 per month. But your income is remain the same, or in some cases, your income has been reduced. So that's a lot of stress. So this is why, because right now, the scams, they become more prevalent 
during recessions because people have this need to believe that they don't have to change. They don't have to do anything extraordinary and they can just invest or do this thing and get a lot of money for little or nothing. And this is how so many people get scammed because they want to believe they, they have this deep, deep, deep seated need to believe that it's possible. It's happening. It's real. They have this need. And this is why I have person after person who is not even a millionaire come to my YouTube channel and tell me, well, he did this, he did this. I have studied billionaires and to become a billionaire, you need to create a worldwide enterprise usually to become a billionaire. There's billion people become billionaires because they dominated an industry in the region, but you're not going to become a billionaire no time soon without having a very large business. It's just not happening. And this is one of the things go ahead, research billionaires and look at their family lineage and you will see none of these guys came from nothing. They all can't because if you want to make your child a billionaire, what you need to do is become part of the upper middle class so they can get the best training. They can get the best um, tutoring. You want to have that money. So you're like, once again, what you're seeing in the NFL, none of these guys who are college quarterbacks came from nothing. You will see it over and over ago. Patrick Mahomes, his father was a major league baseball player. Uh, Bryce Young, the quarterback for Alabama. His parents, I've seen them in the stands. I don't know, I haven't looked, but they look like money. None of these guys are coming from nothing. Maybe Lamar Jackson, but I guarantee you going forward, all of the quarterbacks in the NFL, starting with D1 now, are gonna go through the quarterback camps, they're gonna get the training, they're gonna be on it because their parents are gonna have money or they're gonna find the money to send these guys to these camps. So it's gonna be very, very hard from you to pull it out the mud and become an extra, you know, a few people will slip through, a few people will slip through the cracks. But the reality is becoming a billionaire, you're not gonna, I mean, he was a cashier. That means his folks had no damn money, no privilege, no access. And I know it's a feel good story that, hey, I was a cashier in 2018 and I'm a billionaire in 2022. Beautiful story. But here's the thing. Once again, and this is something that I, I'm, I'm seeing that there's the social media rich folks and there are the real rich folks and they don't look nothing alike. Kylie Jenner, she was part of the Kardashian clan. They were already worth tens of millions. Of, no, I think Kim was worth hundreds of millions of dollars before Kylie even got put on. So it's about proximity and association. You're not like, once again, I put big, I'm, I'm not becoming a billionaire. You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you why. I am 55 years old and I don't have enough time to build an enterprise that's gonna make me a billionaire. I just don't have enough time because typically to become a billionaire the traditional way, you're looking at 25 to 30 years. Um, actually, I was having a conversation with an entrepreneur. Um, I'm getting ready to start packing it in. I got one more 10 year run and then I'm chilling. I'm going to chill. I, I got 10 more years to work and then I'm just going to pack it in. So that's what I mean. I don't have time. I, I have no intentions of working once again, since 2020, since the heart attack, I have not been working hard as I used to. And I have no intention. What's going to happen is during this 10 year run, which is going to be a true indicated schedule. Um, and once I get that together and when I'm 65, my money, my, my plans is to be living off assets, 
assets. This is why I got a chunk of money in the bank that I want to deploy into the marketplace for the right assets. And honestly, I need more money. But that's the goal. I'm going to pack it in in about 10 years. And you know, one of the reasons I lasted this long is I enjoy what I do. I thoroughly enjoy what I do. But one of the things that you guys have got to understand and appreciate is you can make $250,000 per year and have an amazing life. You don't even have to become a billionaire, a millionaire. You don't, you can have like, this was my life before I made my first million. I was driving a paid off BMW. At that time, I had two houses, I had two mortgages. Um, I was making consistently between 30 and $50,000 per month. And I wasn't a millionaire back then, but I felt rich. You wanna know why I felt rich? There was nothing that I wanted to do that I couldn't do. I've not been in a position like this computer, this outrageously expensive computer that I bought for trading. Actually, I bought for trade, like here, here's the thing. I had a maxed out MacBook Pro and I had another maxed out Pro iMac Pro and I sold them on eBay to defer the cost of this thing. Cause that's, you know, I sold them early cause typically I sell my computers before they start messing up. But this thing cost $12,000 and with the monitors, we're at about 14,000. I sold those computers for about seven. So this thing back here cost me $7,000 cause I sold my old computers. And um, not anything that I wanna do, I'm getting ready to get a Porsche, I'm paying cash for it. There's nothing that I want to do that I can't do. I've not been in, and I remember growing up being in that position where there were so many things I wanted to do, I couldn't do, I couldn't do. So I drive what I, drive what I want to drive, I live where I want to live, I eat how I want to eat, I live life on my terms. And I was doing that before I became a millionaire. So I'm telling you guys, you don't have to be a millionaire, you don't have to be a billionaire, but you do have to get your income in around the $250,000 range to start living freer, living freer. That's to me, that was the jump off point for me. That was the jump off point when I started to realize a lot of freedom, a lot of access. And once again, you know, social media will inform you of many false narratives to sell products and you know a billion dollars ain't even close to chump change i just told you i could spend 10 million dollars a year for 100 years that's a lot of money man that's a lot of money that's a ton of money and what you guys have got to understand is these people, like there was this guy, Wesley Virgin. Wesley, billionaire Virgin, right? He's got this plan without, because once again, to become a billionaire, and this is something you innately know, but you haven't consciously put it together. Everyone that you know is a billionaire, has a company. Everyone that you know, and they have a large company. Everyone that you know that's a billionaire. And Warren Buffett, you know, the knock, the, the read is he's an investor. Uh, Warren Buffett is a businessman that buys companies. They own Geico. They own Geico, okay? So this whole notion, like, you know, you, you think you're gonna be an investor and you're gonna make a lot of money? Mm -mm. It ain't true, it's simply not true, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Um, this fundamental need to believe that you can do little or nothing and become outstandingly rich is one of the reasons that so many people are broke. So many people don't have money. So many people are in a situation where they're struggling because 
of this false narrative that somehow, some way, some shape, some fashion, that you are going to get outstandingly rich while you're on vacation, while you're spending all this time with your wife and ch children. It's just simply not gonna happen. It's just simply not gonna happen. And this is what I'm getting ready to do the new training on, reality-based training, because when I was selling the intellectual property school, I was saying that it's a two to three year journey, because it is. Now, there's a lot of things you can do the two and three years. And if you have the right business model, you have the right level of activity and application to the marketplace, you can become a millionaire in three years. That is very, very possible with a business. But this other stuff, claim it, just claim it. Just who here who gonna be a millionaire this time next year? Who here next year gonna be living in a brand new house, driving a new paid off car? Who here, claim it. That is 100% rah-rah bullshit. And it ain't gonna get you nowhere because once you leave the rah-rah event and you go home, guess who you're gonna transform back into? You, that same person that's got this $30,000 a year job driving this Honda living in the hood. That's who you are. And until you transform that motherfucker, ain't shit gonna change in your life. I don't care how much the internet lies to you. So, once again, I'm getting ready to do some new training, getting ready to get into some new isms. And guys, I'm gonna teach you what really, really works. So, um, October, I'm gonna get into this new thing and I, give me some time because weekend's coming up. So I will be off Saturday and Sunday going forward because it's football season and I like watching all my teams. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. And um, we will get into it Monday. So if you buy the program, you will get this new training and I will break it off and I will talk to you and I will give you what you need to the knowledge base to be successful. So if I don't put it in the first comment, it will be in the description and you can go ahead, just go ahead and get the program and you will get this new training.